Hi, welcome back to another video. My name's Luke and today we're talking about self-publishing. I have published two main books using Amazon KDP and some low content journals. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything that I've learned so far about the Amazon KDP process so you can avoid the mistakes that I've made. First things first, I want to talk about managing your expectations. When you publish your first book, it is very exciting. You assume that you're going to write it, hit publish, and thousands of people are just automatically going to buy it. However, one thing that I definitely overlooked throughout this entire process was the amount of books that are published on Amazon every single day. Depending on what article you read online, you can easily find that over 7,000 new Kindle books are published to Amazon every single day. That means that even if you're publishing in a really small niche, you are competing with a lot of other people. When I first published my children's book and my latest short story collection, I assumed that I was going to get a ton of sales. My children's book has done a lot better than my short story collection and I will leave a link up above to me breaking down the income to that book. I have sold copies of my book throughout Europe, UK, and even some in America. The second thing that I want to talk about when it comes to self-publishing is editing. Now anyone will tell you that when you are writing a book or a story, getting an editor on board or someone to at least proofread is crucial. You might be the most talented writer on the planet, but when you get wrapped up in the entire process of creating a book, it is very easy to miss something. In fact, when I first self-published my children's book, there were actually some spelling mistakes in the book. Even though I wrote it with my partner who did all of the illustrations, neither of us noticed that there were these mistakes until we'd published it and ordered ourselves a copy. Thankfully, we were able to edit the book before we released it to the rest of the world, but if we hadn't have noticed, that just looks really unprofessional. So if you can't get yourself a professional editor because they are really expensive, get some friends or family or someone you trust to read over the book. There will probably be some errors, some grammatical mistakes, and just things that you can tweak to make it clearer. However, like I've just said, you can make changes to your book after it has been published. It does take a few days to sort of for Amazon to approve the changes that you've made, so you do have to bear that in mind. Point number three is all about the design or the front cover of your book. So when it came to self-publishing my short story collection, I paid a illustrator on Fiverr to create this cover for me. Amazon KDP does have its own inbuilt cover creator if you don't want to pay someone to do the cover for you. However, the features that it has is very limiting and I don't recommend using it. I'm not a graphic designer and so I couldn't design anything like that so I knew that paying someone to do it for me was just so much better. I know the common phrase is don't judge a book by its cover but when you are writing a book you absolutely have to think about the cover. This is where doing good research comes into play because you need to know what other people in your niche are sort of designing their books to look like. I wanted mine to remain minimal and quite like simple to look at so I didn't want to go overboard. I looked at other short story collections and they generally just have like one striking image on the front. The next point that I want to talk about is formatting your book as an ebook. So this is something that I still haven't done with my children's book, but my short story collection is available as an ebook. It has been found in a survey in the UK that 40% of consumers aged 12 or above read ebooks. This means that if you're not optimizing your book to become an ebook, then you are just cutting out a major portion of your traffic. On top of this, Amazon also have the KDP Select program. The KDP Select program is able to distribute your ebook to a much wider audience. This means that if you can get get people to read your ebook or even just a few pages of it, Amazon are more likely to promote it themselves. Of course, with this program, you may not end up earning royalties, but just for getting your book out there, it's a fantastic program. So the next thing that I want to talk about is another major mistake that I've made, and that is just the marketing of the book. Now, this is quite ironic because I work in digital marketing, but my marketing campaigns for my books have been non-existent. Again, I was under the assumption that if I created a book, published it, and sent it to friends and family and got the word out within my circles, that it would just take off. That didn't happen. When you are an unknown author, when nobody has any idea who you are, it is very important to give them a reason to buy your book. Even within my own circles with my friends and family, I have to tell them why I think my book is worth buying. You might think it is the best thing on the planet, but until you've proven that with reviews and actually enticing people to buy it, it's not gonna happen. Think about if someone came up to you in the street and said, hey, I've just started a business, do you want to invest into it? You'd immediately say no. However, as they begin to tell you more details about their business and actually tell you what it's about, how it's going to work, and why you're the right person to buy it, 
you might be tempted. So the marketing of my book, especially my short story collection, is something that I, I need to work on over these coming months. So if you are interested in Amazon KDP, self-publishing, or maybe even short stories, subscribe to this channel because I'm going to talk about my own experiences writing this book. So my final point, and this might seem a bit obvious, but it's about reviews. On Amazon, there are thousands upon thousands of products. As I said earlier, there are many, many different books being published every single day, and you need to get yours to stand out with reviews. In the beginning, it's gonna be hard to get anybody to read your book, so what I recommend doing, this is what I've done, is order some, yourself some author copies. You can order yourself an author copy for a lot cheaper than the retail price that you have set. Once you do this, you can hand those author copies out to your friends and family and get them to read your book. Once they've read it, ask them to leave a review on the Amazon page because it greatly helps you in the algorithm. The more reviews that you can get, especially over four stars, the more likely you are to appear in search. Of course, you also need to optimize your categories and your description to make sure that you are appearing in Amazon search results. This takes a little bit of knowledge about SEO and just how people are browsing the internet, but that can be learned over time. If you would like a full video on how to optimize your book for Amazon search, let me know down in the comments below. It's very, very important to make sure that people can find your book because if they can't even find it, they can't buy it. Remember that with all of these tips that I've said, I'm still learning, but my mistakes have cost me a lot of time and potentially money. So if you can avoid doing everything that I've done, badly, then you'll, you, you will succeed. And if you would like more information on my experience with self-publishing, I highly recommend you check out this video. But for now, I've been Luke. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.